Okay, I've started out, I've done a five strand plait here, which means I come out with ten strands. One of them was a short strand, so that I end up with nine. So I've cut that one off, that's that one. This one I'm going to save as a core, so I'm going to be working with eight strands. Um, so we're going to do over two crowning, and then under two wall to make our foot rope. So. I'll put a knot in this one just so we don't lose track of the fact that it's the um, it's the core, not a working end. Okay, so start with any one and over two and put it under your thumb. Get this is our core again, so just get that out of the way. It becomes obvious a bit later. I just keep them all about the same, so about there. So everyone is going over to over one, two. Yeah. Over one and then over two. That's it. that first loop is our second over. So over one, over two. So we go through that first loop. And this one needs to go over two, so it goes over that first loop, which is, that's the part that you go over, and that's the part that you go over the second loop. So that's, this one's gone over into that first hole, this one goes into the second hole, but it goes through that one as well, so it goes through both. If I put the right one through, it's that one. Okay, so that's our over two crown. Spread them around. Now we do the over two wall. Now, when you get around, when you've done your wall and you're back to the beginning, it gets very confusing as to which one you have to go under. So the first two unders I keep right down here under my thumb. So we go over under one, under two. So it goes down like that. Now with the other fingers, hold them out of the way. But you're holding this one down here so you know that later on you know where to go. Um, this is our next one. We go under two, so under both of those. And also hold that one down. None of the others you have to hold down, but just those first two. It's just to keep them so you know where they are and what the, which ones they are. It gets a bit confusing later. Under two. One, two, so under both of those. There's one, two, so under both of those. We've got two to go under, so we go under both of those. Now, we've got no more loose ones. So those are the two we held down. So that's our first one. We go under that one, and then under that one. <clears throat> like so. And then under that one, and under that one. under both of those. They're the two that we held down. Okay, now each of those gaps has one coming out now. So pull those up a little bit, not too tight, because we're going to go around again. This is our one, our working end, and that's where we started. So we have to follow that one on the outside of it. That's following it on the inside, that's following it on the outside. Get these out of the way. So this is the one we're working with. It's coming out there, so we have to follow that one all the way around here. So 
It's exactly the same as the over one regular um, foot rope knot, but it just travels a bit further because you've gone over two and under two. So you see, it's following this one, this one around, and we're on the outside of it. So this one again, that's the next one. Follow it around and out there. one we came out. Um, here's our next one. Follows that one there because it's coming out at the same place. Here's our next one. It's following that one. Follows that one down through there. That's the knotted one, so that's our core, we just ignore that. Um, follows that one. Last one, oh no, second last one. Follows there, goes under those. You can, it's getting harder to see because we're now going underneath ones that have already been doubled. So it comes out there. That's all of them in the initial, I don't know, so I found one more. I missed one, haven't I? That one comes out. Okay, last one. This one goes through there. Thought there was one more. You can usually just go around and see, make sure all these are doubled. If they're not, then there's a problem. I think I might have seen another problem. Let's have a look after this. this one doing? Yep, another one I missed. God, I'm getting sloppy. Okay, so that one only had one. See, there's two, 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 and this one is the only one. So this is the one it needs to follow around. You can tell because these ones have been used. They're coming down. This one wants to go up, so it hasn't been used. Um, so again, on the outside, Because it's all about patterns, it's usually reasonably easy to see when you've missed something because it's, the pattern doesn't uh, carry on. Okay, so that's the first part of the doubling. Now the next part, 
we follow the same lead, just keep following it. Now see this one? It comes around, it goes underneath here, underneath here, and comes out. So if we followed it up here, we'd now have tripled it. So we don't want to triple it, so we want to look like we're doubling it, so we double it under here, but then we cheat and push it up and go out through the middle. So get rid of those so we can see. This one's going to go round here. And instead of following it up to there, we follow it to there and then go through the centre of everything. And it comes out the middle. So now it looks like it's doubled, doubled, doubled. And it looks like it's continuing to double, but it's actually snuck around under here. Same on this one. You want it to come out, look like it's coming out there. But we just push it up through everything. So take it past as many things till the point where you want it to disappear. And the same with everyone, just all through the middle there. Okay, so everything is doubled. Now we just need to pull it tight. So I give it a bit of a tug here first with everything. It'll leave these ones that don't make it exposed, so then we can go back and do those. So it looks like I've gone, I could have gone one further. Look, I might just pull that out. See how that one looks like it's tucking under? So I'm just going to take it and put it one slot further along. So I'll put both of those through the same hole. Um, but now I think we're back to where we should be. Okay, let's put 
Okay, so that's the starting point of all of them. So just follow those. So we'll pull each one, the right hand down one. We'll just pull them one at a time. So one, two, three, four, five. And eight, because we were working with eight strands. Now follow those round and they go onto the outside of the upward facing one. So side of the downward facing one. It's almost done. We'll get to go around and do it once more. I'd like to push it up a bit to cover that. We might snip that out. The, um, sometimes it covers that, but this time it hasn't. So I'm going to snip out our constrictor knot there. One more round of tightening and we're done. See now it's pulling so we don't want to pull too tight on that. Um, so down one. Okay, that'll do it. Um, yeah, that looks fine.